Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Paul Anthony and in today's video we're going to be doing a quick review on the new Air CC300H model. I personally own the, prior, the uh, predecessor to this model, the CC300, which only had a cooling element, where this upgraded model has both a heating and cooling element. We're going to be going over how to set it up, what the storage capacity is, how to maintain the humidor over time, as well as my final thoughts on who it may be good for and is it worth the money. Hello and once again welcome to Bespoke Unit. So in this video we're going to be taking a detailed look at the new Air Cigar Humidor. I actually previously owned and still own the new Air CC300 without the H. This is the upgraded model as I said earlier with both the heating and cooling element. One thing that uh, this may be very helpful for a lot of guys is that they, if they get large temperature swings this unit is going to not only keep the temperature down like here in the apartment where it can easily reach over 80 degrees in the summer but also if that temperature drops it's going to create a really nice consistent temperature and environment for the cigars itself so if we take a quick look inside this is a 400 count humidor and the way i have it configured for my particular arrangement is to have boxes at the top and then loose cigars in the drawers here one of the things you're going to read in the quick start guide is that you're gonna to wanna to leave a little bit of room behind the shelves for airflow as well as seasoning. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is seasoning and properly setting up the humidor. Okay, so now we've actually got the uh, new Air CC300H humidor. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set it up. In the uh, quick guide uh, instruction manuals, they say you're gonna to wanna to season the humidor, which is what you're always going going to want to do, uh, you can see links below where Charles Philippe and I detail how to correctly season a humidor. In that guide, they actually recommend using the provided uh, water tray um, to put distilled water in here and a sponge, it should take three days. However, here at Bespoke Unit, we prefer using uh, Bovida packs. So here we are using the 84% RH packs, um, putting them in here for two weeks um, to properly absorb that moisture into the wood allowing the um, cigars when they go in there to not have any sort of climate shock. What you're gonna to wanna to do is usually the recommendation is a four per 25 count, and as this is a 400 count humidor, we're not gonna use that many packs, uh, 16 packs, because the size of the humidor aren't obviously wood. So in this instance, I ended up using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I ended up using eight packs, so half the recommended amount um, for this count of humidor. However, due to the fact that the entire humidor is not made from wood, I thought this was more than sufficient to correctly season this wood. So now that the uh, humidor is properly seasoned, the next thing you wanna do is configure the humidor to hold the cigars uh, that you want. So uh, as I've prepared this earlier for two weeks, I'm actually gonna be putting the uh, cigars into this. Um, I'm probably gonna remove some shelves uh, just because I've got some boxes I want to store and then I'm going to store the uh, the loose cigars into the uh, the trays here. Okay, now that we've seen how to season the humidor, the next thing you're going to want to talk about is uh, you know how the humidor operates. As you saw earlier on in the video, I actually have the humidor set up here um, with a number of boxes in as well as a number of uh, loose cigars as well. So the state of capacity is actually 400 cigars. However, you know, depending on how you configure it and how much you've got left in the boxes, that's gonna uh, differ as well. Uh, as I previously mentioned, I did have the CC300 model, which actually had a, a hygrometer in here, uh, which was an analog hygrometer, and they've got rid of that, which I think is an upgrade. So now you can put in a calibrated hygrometer. The three that we recommend here at Bespoke Unit are the Bovida Butler, the Sensor Push, and the six saw, there's a link below to where we actually review those. So you're gonna to wanna to be able to track the uh, temperature and the relative humidity in there with a smartphone application, uh, which is always handy. So the other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually put in a humidification device. Uh, the manufacturer recommends using uh, a bowl of distilled water. They provide a little tray for that. However, you know some of you guys uh, may know that that kind of kicks off too much RH in one particular area and we wanna really create a consistent environment around the whole humidor. So we actually prefer using the uh, the Bovida packs. Um, so right here, I have a 69% pack, and I've got three of these spread through the humidor, bottom shelf kind of resting on the box here, and one on the side. And then I have a couple of 60 grams as well within the shelf. 
I think one thing that's also important to know when you're actually setting up a large humidor like this is that you're gonna to wanna to season your cigars before they actually go in there. So what I do is either put them in an airtight container such as a tupperdor, we have links below on how to actually create a tupperdor, or another easy solution is using the boba to humidor bags. So what I'll do, if I buy a new box of cigars, so just say it's this um, you know, Monte Cristo number fives, when I actually get those in the mail or I buy them from a shop, I'll put them in a separate environment for say two weeks at that 69% level with uh, Bovid RH packs, and then I'll introduce them to the main humidor so there's no uh, temperature or RH shocks once they go in there. That's especially true if you're gonna be buying singles or loose cigars and be putting them into the trays. So that's one thing to definitely take note of. Uh, overall, uh, with respect to the unit itself, it's pretty much the same size as the original CC300. The only difference is the back is uh, considerably deeper, I suppose, to accommodate both the heating and cooling elements. As for noise, uh, it's pretty quiet. There's a there's a low, a little kind of fan sound, but nothing major. And then also on the outside, um, has the ability to lock it here. It's a kind of like an Allen key style key there. With respect to operating the humidor. Uh, you've got simple controls here. You can just turn an internal light on, little blue light, as well as um, turning the temperature up and down. So this is currently reading 69 inside, and then when you change the temperature, it's gonna blink, and then once it comes back, it's gonna tell you what the current temperature is. So currently it's a little bit hotter. I've been having the door uh, open and closed for the purpose of this review, but once it settles out, it will go to the number that you've set it. It is worth noting that I've had this for the last about three weeks now, and uh, I've only tested it in warmer conditions, so I can't attest to um, if the heating element um, is sufficient, but that would be definitely something that I'd like to see from you guys in the comments below. So, to conclude this video, I suppose you guys really wanna figure out if I think it's worth it or not. So the unit actually costs $600, which is about uh, $150 more than the original retail price and I believe the original CC300 is actually on sale both on New Air and Amazon so I'll provide a link below. So I think really you've got to decide whether you actually need the heating element or not. Most people are probably only going to need the cooling element. For me the cooling element is the most important thing being here in the apartment as it doesn't really get that cold uh, during the winter as we're on the top floor and um, all the heat rises from the floors below us so that's not really a big concern. Uh, if you're storing it in a basement or a garage or an outdoor space, um, the heating element could be much more valuable. However, in the owner's manual and the uh, manufacturer's manual, they say that these are not good use cases for it. So again, who knows if the uh, capacity of the heating element is going to be able to deal with some more extreme conditions. So maybe it's only good for a basement or you know a room that's maybe not as well um, heated and cooled in your house. Uh, with respect to value for money, you know, $600, I don't think it's a, a particularly outrageous price for something that's gonna hold, you know, two, three, potentially 400 cigars, depending on the configuration you have, with the peace of mind of having precision control on the temperature. And obviously, if you put in a calibrated hygrometer, you're already gonna be able to track uh, the RH within the system itself. Would I buy this unit? Yes, I would. I didn't actually buy this one. I'd like to thank New Air for sending it out to me, but I did actually buy the CC300 unit. I've been very happy with that performance, so I can't see why there's any difference with this particular model we have here. They've also been kind enough to give the bespoke unit uh, re readers, uh, if you go to bespokeunit.com forward slash cigars, and you, the viewers here on YouTube, a 10% discount. So definitely check out the link below to get that, uh, that discount. And as I say, it's a bit of a coin flip maybe between the two models, depending on what particular use case you have. But either way, I think that having one of these frigidors um, to store a larger collection of cigars is probably a worthwhile investment for all of you, uh, you know, cigar aficionados out there. With all of that being said, please do go to the aforementioned bespokeunit.com forward slash cigars to check out many resources around cigars, not only the storing of them, the correct humidification, but how to light them, smoke them, as well as individual stick reviews as well. Furthermore, on BespokeInit.com, we cover pipes, shoes, suits, watches, you name it, we've got a wide variety of men's lifestyle topics. With all of that being said, I hope you enjoyed this review. Please comment below on any thoughts if you own this unit or another solution that you've found. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.